Radiant okay, team welcome to the uh, Murray Cup 2016 Itari versus First back. Dogs uh, game two of two in uh, the blue group there. I'm joined once again by Sam Wise in the commentary box here. And uh, First Dogs Radiant pulling out that one down. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if that's even a hero that Itari play. Um, I just think they were so soured by him in the first game. They just don't ever want to face that hero again. Uh, Bane banned out by Atari and uh, Invoker by First Dogs. Uh, so speaking of knowledge, not gonna get, uh, not gonna get to play his uh, his hero of choice there. Probably a really smart ban actually. I mean, a lot of the times I think Invoker just kind of banned out. Um, but this time around, I think probably it's a good choice. We saw what you could do with uh, Vengeful Spirit. I shudder to think uh, what will happen Ten if he ever gets invoked remaining. through there. Um, the Bane ban, though, Sam, what do you think about that? Is that something that these uh, these guys play in first off? Radiant team pick. They can play Bane, but it's not one of their most picked. What I was going to say, though, is I feel that first dogs here with the with the Undying is more of a... They're trying to win. I think they realize that now they're starting to play against a good quality sort of side. They need to win the laning phase here. That's where they seem to be, I'd say. If I was to say anything, be, I, I think the laning phase is where they're weakest. So they just need to ban out all the strong laning heroes and make sure they can stay at least on parity. Yeah, I don't know. I think they did pretty well in the early game Five there, but just kind of uh, those misplays and mid by um, uh, the kid uh, that let Reserve the, uh, the Venge get out. And then there was another few places where there was just not quite the cohesion. Uh, in the team, and I think as that started to uh, as that started to slip away from them, it started to become a problem. Though, um, so uh, the Darkseer banned out then uh, by Itari. They obviously did not enjoy Crackpot's uh, um, uh, harass, which uh, obviously, as we saw, um, Slark was able to kind of keep up with Juggernaut there. It was good to see Wow um, actually managing to get Dyer the same sort of level pick. of farm. Uh, Tidehunter picked up then for Crackpot and OG uh, for Beacon of Knowledge. I expect. Radiant team pick. Oh, OD Omni, that's such a such a strong, strong thing in this matter. Radiant silencer there, I thought it would probably be a Fazl, Fazl hero. He plays a, plays a fairly solid silencer. It's good to see the silencer coming through there, though. That might help. A key, uh, a key alt from the silencer may interrupt Omni Knight's uh, potential to pop Ten Guardian Angel. Remaining. But oh my, man. Guardian Angel plus Repel on that Five OD. This is going to be some serious business here. Itari, I think, have just upped their game, and I'm not even sure they needed to. Reserve time. Repel on the OD is such a strong, such a ridiculously strong, uh, strong uh, couple, of, couple of heroes together. We've seen seen Arteezy spam it through, so I'm, look I'm, I'm looking for I'm, not, I'm sure he's no Arteezy, but Deacon and all just shown he's not a bad player, to say the least. Yeah, a little bit scary. Obviously, it does negate the need for OD to pick up the um, to pick up the early BKB, and it frees him up to pick up things like uh, Orchids and uh, Atos instead. Uh, and obviously, that extra intelligence just adding to the pain of uh, of the OD right click. Dire team ban. Okay, I wonder what they're going to ban out now. Do you think they're going to be more targeted with their bans this time? Well, the DP gets taken out of the pool again, and Windranger Radiant team swiftly... Uh, uh, Windranger also banned out. So again, uh, mid-hero is banned here. Now, I actually quite like Silencer as a mid-hero, by the way, against OD. Um, he kind of can counter him a little bit with uh, the Arcane Curse, with the changes to Arcane Curse. Ten seconds and all, remaining. If he tries to orb, uh, if he tries to do orb instead of just you know having it on auto Five cast, seconds that remaining. will uh, refresh the cooldown. Dire and also, um, I mean, overall, Silence are quite a good counter to OD. Uh, once you start stealing intelligence, Venge though banned out. I'm not sure about the Venge ban in this situation. Obviously, OD is most certainly going to be the mid hero here, and uh, I don't know whether or not Venge is quite as capable um, at red teams uh, when uh, when she's not given so much farm. Five seconds remaining. Mid hero, but with the Omni pickup also, they've got to Dying consider it possibly a safe lane hero because we have seen OD in this patch especially being played safe lane, and a safe lane OD plus the Omni is as we. Seen very strong. Make sure they don't give Beacon the knowledge. This isn't, let's say, a Beacon the knowledge hero. They don't want to give him a hero he is very strong on. And there's the Pudge pickup. So it could be a possibly off lane or mid Pudge. Maybe even a support. This is a very open draft so far from this Harry. 
I mean, I don't really rate Padge in the mid uh, in, the, in this particular patch. I feel he is much stronger in the off lane uh, or as a, a roaming ganker. Uh, played a lot of games um, with Pudge Specialist and generally we, we tend to sit in the off lane and just we wreck the uh, the opposing team safe Ten lane farm and uh, we find obviously that once you once you kill the safe lane farm uh, the game Five becomes much easier for remaining. your own carries Dire team pick 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 up here looks like we could have some good uh, good team fight potential here from the from, from first dogs with all three heroes having a great great team fight ultimate so definitely targeting them there I'm delighted to see the kid uh, Earthshaker again. It was really entertaining in the first game. And obviously Crackpot plus kid. Uh, Crackpot said uh, Blink plus uh, Ravage and Earth, uh, the Earthshaker Blink Ten plus, seconds uh, remaining. plus Echo Slam. So if that silencer does turn out to be for Fazl, can we possibly see a uh, Zeus pick up then for um, Naughty Bobo in the mid? This, this is a very possible pick up here. He's such a strong laner as well. And if that's what they're... If that's what they're aiming for, I wouldn't be too surprised to see the Zeus. Dazzle though picked up probably, I think that's probably going to be, um, I think that'll be a hero for Bizzle. Uh, maybe you see Westwald on the Omni Knight. Um, Prey for Too Good, I think, was their, uh, was actually their mid hero, wasn't it? Well, oh yeah, it was actually. We were saying Beacon of Knowledge because obviously the Invoker pick there. Ten their, seconds. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, not Beacon of Knowledge well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my, my mistake. Five um, thanks for correcting me, Sam. <laughs> We're never getting to Mordor. Right, okay. Um, Reserve time. I don't I I don't know like I don't know about Zeus versus OD in the mid. I mean he does have that really long range with uh with the arc lightning spam and uh, I mean I think we did see OD versus Zeus before and it went really quite well for the Zeus, I have to say. Uh surprisingly so, but I just I don't know how confident I would feel going up against an OD with a Zeus in this situation. What about uh, safe lane carries then? Are we going to see another Slark? I see the Juggernaut's been banned out. Uh, Spectre was another one I was thinking of there. Dire Slightly later game back. hero, but it does have the potential, obviously, with Haunt um, to, to come in, Radiant obviously, with the Earthshaker and the Tidehunter just to Haunt. And obviously, he can then farm off the map uh, until he's needed. Uh, Zeus is banned out, though. Uh, they've spotted that one out. They're like, oh, you like globals, huh? Yeah, Ten so that's another while here on the Spectre. Looking at this, this, uh, this Five entire interact as well, there's lots of saves here for the OD with the hooks and the shallow graves and the heals Dying from the Omni. So it's looking very, very much four, well, three support one currently here. Yeah, maybe they're going to go for a four protect one and just rely on the, uh, on the, uh, the Outworld Devourer to DPS. <coughs> Excuse me. The problem could come, let's say, in a team fight, if the Stouncer gets a good, a good global off, that really will put OD at a serious disadvantage with no Shallow Grave or anything like that to save him. Remaining. Well, of course, the Silencer ult also stops his uh, orb attack, so it really seriously de decreases his DPS Radiant there. We're going to see Legion Commander picked up for the off lane once again. Sporker probably going to be on that hero, I expect. And, uh, I mean... Legion versus Spectre. Legion can lock Spectre down, and uh, I mean, as the game progresses, though, it's a total mistake, and unless you've got a lot of backup uh, for Legion. Now, as far as burst damage is concerned, though, um, they only have the OD to back that Legion commander up in jewels. Uh, obviously, Omni can drop a heal bomb, uh, but not that great. Ten Again, the same goes remaining. for the Shallow Wave. Uh, the Shallow Wave. The, um, ch uh, the shallow five wave. seconds remaining. As you say, heal bomb does. It does actually do, it, it's a surprising amount of damage for anyone who plays, you never expect it to quite do as much nuke as it does, but it is a fairly high damage spell, so I, I, I expect to probably see the Legion yeah. offline again here. Final hero then, final pick up, we've got the offlane that we're probably looking for a mid if the silencer is going to be picked up by remaining. Fazl. Sven banned out, um, I think they should have banned the Legion, the Legion did really quite remaining. well last game, and obviously offers that a lockdown. Ooh, Ember Spirit though, picked up, I suspect, for the mid. Um, how do you feel about um, Natty Bobo on the Ember Spirit? So an Ember Spirit is a strong hero, and Natty Bobo on the Ember is a very, very dangerous sort of hero. And late game, I, I would, late game first dog's looking strong here, and there's not quite as much pushing power from the... From Tari, so I think it could. Um, did I crash? Uh, 
which I'm sure will be quite a quite a relief in that out on the Ember. Yeah, man, I totally crashed out there. Fucking Might thanks, be able to Welcome back, General Divicus, as well. Uh, yeah, how did they, how did it go? No kills though there. Sporker just kind of running into the jungle here. Uh, did Crackpot do his normal? Uh, uh, he did do his uh, his ward block there. Um, what's happening mid? Ah, there's two fights going on at the same time. How dare they? It's just a, it's just a just a straight ruin swap. Um, so I'm I'm sure I'm sure both teams will be alright with this start. But with, yes. uh, with the OG top, as I was expecting, safe lane, with the, compared to the Omni and the Daz, we've got so much sustain. I'm sure he'll be just fine against this OD, against this Tide Hunter, who we can see rotating into his, uh, into his jungle here. Yeah, I don't think he wants to mess with that lane at all, and um, probably sensibly so. Beacon of Knowledge, though, taking the, uh, taking the Pudge mid, like I say. I don't think he's a very strong mid hero at the moment, um, and uh, but he has melee versus melee, so he might do he might do okay uh, in this particular matchup. <laughs> Already taking the lead actually in the last hit. Rock might uh, be able to phase out, and so crack pocket. Just the rock damage will really. really. Oh, we do have rotations, he is going to turn on them, we got the kid coming in with a, uh, with a Fisher Block, but the Legion Commander picks up the kill in the bottom lane against the Silencer, uh, support Silencer on Fazl, as you said, um, and why are we just going to have to kind of back it off a bit? <laughs> oh no, not Bobo in trouble, he dodges the hook though, uh, misplayed by Beacon of Knowledge there, I'm pretty sure he could hit that, it was like two, two feet away. The kid coming in could be dangerous with the with all the spells up on bow. The uh, they do have this high high ground ward bow, so they did spot that out. Got there. Oh, what are these hooks? Speaking of knowledge, I don't know if he's got a bit of a ping issue or what, but or maybe he's just trying to bait him in. This uh, with will do but, oh, he's in trouble. And if the kid had come round, if the kid had wrapped round to the top there, he would definitely have been dead. But he's gonna go down anyway. Oh, nice losses. pick up. Um, anyway, there. Great. Gonna have to be careful. Great. Great block off. Yep, yep. He just he just got um, a nice angle there. The pudge was not able to get out of that. Um, I mean, I was I was about to criticise him for not coming in from the top, but I mean, he managed to make it work regardless, and uh, they found the kill there. Good stuff. One one. Crackpot in trouble though. Um, taking so much damage here in the off lane. And that level one for the uh, Kraken shell that he really needs on the Tide Hunter, so he can jungle efficiently. So it's not looking too great for him here. No, once he finds a few levels, though, I think he should be. I think he should be okay, as long as he doesn't give away too much in the early game. Um, he should be able to find levels, and then eventually we'll be able to uh, to farm up these ancients. Wow, struggling on the spectre. Last hit with spectre is a bit of a nightmare early game. I have to say, the first the first few levels, uh, your damage is a bit weird. I always find myself struggling with last hits on Spectre anyway. I like to get the um, the Quelling Blade just to help, my, uh, help me out there. I'm not the greatest last hitter in the world though, as uh, I'm sure anyone all uh, who's been watching uh, Road to 2 Radiance Middle seen. Tower is under attack. Feli. Pudge picked up a kill there on the Ember Spirit as well. That's unfortunate. Matty Bobo throwing away that early advantage they had there. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Radiance here. Middle Tower the, is the under attack. Aura and the poison. Wow, that is that's potent as far as uh, keeping him there. But obviously the Kraken shell will uh, will proc from time to time and uh, get him out of jail there. Uh, wow needs to be careful. He's going to pop up a salve and uh, maybe come back in behind Sparkar here. Just going to hide in trees. Sparkar is looking for him. Hello, hello. <laughs> Oh, I don't know, guys. I think if the kid had come in on that, I think they could have trapped the uh, Sporker and actually finished him off. 
the hill. He's already got 1,000 HP and he's got the heal as well, so... I'm not too sure they're going to kill him uh, off. He can throw the silence in as well, do you know what I mean? He could, he could, to stop, he could stop that heal to an extent. Oh, look at the beacon of knowledge. Yeah. I would rather have got caught that hook and uh, just done some damage there. Uh, he does have... Uh, he does have his... Um, uh, sleight of fist. So beacon of knowledge needs to be careful. He could use to pick that kill off, I think. Rotation though from top, uh, Westworld coming down to throw some heals onto the Pudge. Obviously Pudge feeling he's struggling a little bit with uh, sustain. Has he picked up his bottle yet? I can't tell because we've been My body cast upon the tide. Uh, Radiant's tide bottom tower the is under there. attack. Patch up. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Just, just enough to take him down. I least try to get behind his tower. Farm-wise, then, not looking good for first dogs, like I say, 15 and 4 on the spectrum, 15 and 7, and uh, now you both get some back in, there's going to be an alt from the pad, and uh, Westwall degen aura, just going to make sure he can't quite make it away. Uh, only level 5 still, I take it, on Ember Spirit, no remnants out to, uh, to get him out of danger there. Yeah, still on the level 5 on the spectre and the Ember, uh, level 7 on the offlane legion. And level seven on the Pudge. Um, OD though, not finding the uh, not finding the farm quite so easily as he should be in the top lane there. Obviously, he's got a share with his two supports and uh, the way that they're playing. Um, Radiance middle tower. I, I don't. Know, I think that's attack. deliberate though. I don't think they're uh, they're blocking the XP. I think they're just wanting to maintain steady levels on those supports. These levels and they've really done well to for us. The tide on our lane, he's only just picked up his level 2 now, so I think that's been their main challenge. And just just make sure that Prey for 2, 2, 2 GD gets his, uh, gets his farm gold wise, which he's been doing well. He's over 3k net worth now, and top of the last hit charts. Yeah, he's able to, he's able to find the last hits, like I say. Uh, it's, not that he's, it's not that he's not farming well, it's just that he is sharing that XP. And it, it's paying off for them, I have to say. And, I think I think as uh, things progress, if Odie starts to get a few kills, it's not going to really cause him any issues anyway. And Spectre still not found that level six in the safe lane. Uh, real real problems down here um, for WoW. How's his farm? How's the net worth looking? Let's have a quick look at that. Um, yeah, so he is the highest though on uh, on uh, uh, first dogs as far as farm is concerned. Um, Ember also struggling against this Pudge uh, with the Omni rotation in there. Where is the kid? Uh, he's um, he's just down here at the bottom rune actually. Bottom rune at the moment. Yeah, I think looking at this, any of the uh, any other teams are watching Tari play here. I wouldn't be surprised if they banned out the legion. He's, he's a really strong legion off lane on this Sporker. Yeah, curious to see what Sporker will play if the legion is not available, and uh, it's going to be good to actually see some of these non-meta heroes getting banned out in some respect being shown for uh, various play styles. This is dangerous though, Natty Bobo will go down, I think, to the uh, rotation of some thousands of poison, plus the degen all that. What's it? They get those two on you, man. There's no, there's no getting away. Such a, such a scary, sort of slow from both from that team there. A great Plus Pud draw as well. It's just you're really, really not going to get away from them if they catch you. I mean, if any hero is going to get away, though, it is going to be the Ember Spirit, obviously, ah. with the ability to use those fire remnants, just not able to use them uh, effectively. And the Crackpot actually managed to find his level four now. That's it. Uh, that's huge. He's managed to pick up three levels in the space of two minutes there. Um, certainly going to make it more. Uh, uh, more defensible against uh, the OD there. OD now though, obviously the supports don't even need to be there anymore. He's got his levels on his farm and he probably, he's picked up drums now as well. He feels able to cope with the level 4 crackpot, no problem at all uh, in the top lane. We're going to have a quick pause here. I'm not sure quite what the issue is. Going to have a little, little rundown on the items so far that have been picked up. Uh, obviously Soul Ring on Westwold, uh, just to allow him to continue to spam his uh, heals. Uh, we got an urn picked up on Beacon of Knowledge and a bottle. A fairly, fairly normal, I think. There, nothing on the boots yet, and it'll be curious to see whether or not he goes Aether Lens or Ags first. Uh, we got a smoke on him as well, so that could uh, lead to some interesting, uh, interesting plays. Full wand uh, finished on Pray for Two Good, and. Uh, the, the, the treads finished on him as well. The only hero with anything really on the other, uh, the radiant side, Spectre has managed to pick up his. Uh, his phase boots and his urn is almost complete so he is going to go for a more early fighting build obviously against the team they're playing 
that's not a surprise really at all. And uh, it'd be good for him to get maybe earn trams before uh, going into the Feud of Lego Units. Yeah, and this, this gank here is not spotted, but they, they managed to get away with it. Spectre going to throw the haunt then, not sure he's going to find anything. Um, just maybe using it for vision. Oh, but look at Beacon of Knowledge actually, that's what they were going for at the top there. He was on very few hit points, I think he had about maybe 20 hit points left. Um, he could have picked that kill up maybe if he just swapped in, but who wants to swap into the enemy base at this point in the game? I don't think uh, I don't think the Spectre well, the Spectre had a TP out, so it would have been a very uh, sort of suicidal attack. That yeah, yeah, I don't think uh, I don't think you want to do it. Um, and he's saying, "Oh, I had a smoke." It's like, yeah, well, the smoke wouldn't have helped you if you had a swapped in. Radiant's <laughs> bottom tower is under attack. You'll see you coming. I think I think the Pudge would have probably oh, accepted, accepted the fate. That's not uh, looking good there. Yeah, he smoked up, yeah, came he was in, smoke. Him. Followed up with Westworld's heal bomb and wow, just getting taken out. Just a kind of cheeky response by Beacon of Knowledge, I think, uh, after uh, Wow was kind of uh, having a little bit of banter about how he nearly got him. And it's like, okay, you nearly got me there, but I am going to murder. I am actually going to murder you um, uh, down bottom here. And that's the the level difference there, really kind of really coming into play there. And uh, the farm, etc. I mean, levels wise, Pudge on level eight, Spectre on level seven. And you got a level Radiant's five on you now as well. A little bit of smoke attack. here though at the back. Um, the kid and Fazel looking to uh, wrap round and uh, maybe pick someone off here at top. Uh, it's going to be uh, Radiant's man, top tower down. has it's gonna been be difficult denied. To get anything. Those guys are probably going to back. Are going to see a rotation from OD anytime soon, or is he just going to continue to farm this lane, and pick up items and gold? I wonder. Yeah, well, I don't think I'd stay in this lot. You might not stay in this lane. You might just go to another one to push tower, but. I feel like we'll just continue farming like this because there's no real need for him to get out of here. His team's winning on kills and it's all, it's all going splendidly for them maybe at the moment. A, maybe a bit of a mistake on this play. There is the Shallow Grave available. The DPS uh, is real mind. from uh, Prey for 2 dude already. Almost taking out the uh, uh, Tiger. will find the kill with Silencer on uh, Ember rotating around. But Ember getting caught out by Beacon of Knowledge. Saved by the kid though. Uh, Spicy Bizzle is going to have a little go at trying to uh, finish him off. Uh, another save by the kid. And uh, they might get Beacon of Knowledge here. Natty Bobo is... Uh, oh, that uh, hook was just mistimed. There is a fight going on in the back here. And Sparker is there also. Beacon of Knowledge, though, is finally going to go down. Sparker is going to catch the uh, uh, Silencer. He's going to pick up some easy damage there. There is uh, the Dazzle ult on all of them there. Sparker finishes off Ember and the kid. And uh, in, an end, in the end there, it's a 3 for 2 trade in the favour of uh, uh, Aitari. But wow, what a set of jukes by, uh, by Bobo Dark there. Light. Oh no, and we're getting caught really out by Prey for too good. And he's just oh. going to pick up an easy kill in mid on, the, uh, on him there. Yeah, I hate the Upathon, man. It's, it's ridiculous. Radiant's top tower is under attack. Yeah, the damage output from OD here is just so, so much. It's... I didn't Even catch with the it, did he, uh, on the Spectre, it's just nothing he can do. Did Spectre still have Shadow Dagger? Was it an option for him just to go up on the high ground and avoid that? I mean, the ward is gone there, so they're not able to... Uh, he wouldn't have been able Radiant's to continue top tower is under attack. I was meant to have this. He was, he was pretty much done. He only had took three hits, and that was him down, even with the even with the dispersion ability, so... OD is starting to get really powerful. I wouldn't be surprised if they just started to five-man push now. But five-man against the... Five-man against the, um... The crackpot. Oh, oh that's like a, that is a dead looking silencer. Yeah, two hits in and all, and silencer taken out of the equation there. As you were saying though, um, if these uh, five heroes on first dogs do get together, they will be able to uh, defend against most pushes, I would think. Um, we've seen what the kid and crackpot can do together. Uh, silencer's only going to add to that, and uh, obviously haunt just to catch anyone who does get away once while he starts to get some items online. Um, this could go. This game could go a lot longer, but we'll see how uh, how they were able to survive this early game. Oh, the kid catches out. Beacon of knowledge. Naughty Bobo is here with the searing chains, and the Pudge goes down once again to Naughty Bobo on the Ember Spirit. They're looking for. Uh, they're looking for Crackpot here. This uh, Crackpot has uh, Ravage up. And uh, some some nicely timed TPs here could uh, 
you to turn this bottom fight here. They are going to try and do some tower damage there. Is that fortifiable? There's a duel to one track now, and that's going to be a problem. Though. The block from the kid is not good. Uh, blocking the uh, blocking the back there, and uh, Naughty Bobo able to escape. But I think the kid is going to get caught now by uh, Pray for TV. The Ember Spirit Remnant is there, so if he does make it back to the fight, he can come back. Astral Imprisonment on the kid, the kid's going to be in trouble when he comes out of this, he's going to go down. Vazel going to get caught by Sparker as well. Uh, they're under the tower and they don't even care. Uh, level 11 Legion with the uh, press the attack, uh, easily able to deal with anything the tower throws at him. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. My thanks. Once again then, the push from Itari is real. They're going to take this tier 2 without any more qualms. And uh, not much that the uh, Radiance not bottom much tower that, uh, has first dogs can do until they get those good daggers on. Look a bit, a bit scary for first dogs now in terms of the pushing power of... Oh, and that hook as well doesn't help. I feel the kid though uh, really actually Dyer's showing uh, his caliber as a support uh, in this, uh, in this game they've played attack. so far. The fourth game as well, this being the fourth game they've played tonight. Um, the Radiant's kid actually managed to show quite a lot of, uh, quite a lot of good play uh, in regards to good damage. And there we go, another duel on to Fazl. He's going to get hooped out of it, which is going to pass the damage to Sparkar. Sparkar with the press the attack is going to be really dangerous right now. But he is going to go down finally to Ember Spirit. He's going to pick up 729 gold. And that is a huge amount of gold going away to Ember Spirit. It's really going to help him go, uh, towards Radiant's finishing up his tower items. Is under attack. That's what they want to watch out for. They want to make sure that they don't give the farm to to the to the, uh, the first dogs because they do have a very strong late game team. Yeah, first dogs can just hold them off for another say 15 minutes or so. Uh, this team will be really scary, but if we look at how things are at the moment, um, it's not looking good. What's Naughty Bobo picking up here? He's picked up a blade of agility, uh, a blade of alacrity on Naughty Bobo. Um, interesting item choice for an Ember Spirit. Any thoughts on where you might go with that? Just trying to think that one through. Um, might be going to Fusel because there's a lot of things that might be able to purge off from the uh, from the other team. I'm not sure. Omni is Omni's uh, is Omni's repellent ult purgeable yeah. or not? That's what it is. That's what it is. He is looking to uh, purge off. Uh, he's looking to purge off the Guardian Angel. That is why he's picked up the Diffusal. Well spotted. Yeah, I expect there'll be a defusal going on to WoW as well. Um, but I mean, are they going to get? Are they going to be able to actually get these items up? That's going to be, that's going to determine whether or not these guys are able to stay in the game. It's almost finished now for uh, for the Spectre though. He just needs one more Blade of Alacrity on the recipe, and he will have his defusal finished. Uh, we're certainly going to help the help the haunt damage. Might make a bit of a threat to uh, the Dazzle just from the haunts there. And uh, look at this cheeky play here. They put a uh, uh, Pudge uh, Illusion in and they've popped the Repel on it to make it look like it's the real hero. Uh, see whether or not anything serious is burned on him here. See whether or not this bait works. Meanwhile, in the jungle, you've got them sitting and waiting to see. Problem here, though, for... Yeah, the problem here for First Dogs, though, is that uh, Tari have just completely taken over their, their own jungle, so they can find it really difficult to find any sort of space to farm. They're just being able to get some lane creeps every now and again. Yeah, pretty much the safest place for farm at this point of the game for first dogs is in fact the dire jungle. <laughs> all their waves, uh, all their towers are getting pushed in here. Um, top lane to doesn't look too bad. Mid lane is in trouble though. Dyer's uh, bottom, bottom lane, tower uh, is under you attack. might see dire tower getting taken out by the troops, but there is going to be a TP response in regards to that. Um, speaking of knowledge, just throwing hooks here, uh, trying to uh, trying to maybe fish for uh, Nighty Bobo. There is a uh, Revenant out though, we will see him kind of blink out if that happens. Odie oh, just picking up all that farm in the bottom lane there from that wave, wave that was pushing in. Um, more farm going his way, a little bit of a nightmare for uh, for first dogs. Obviously like I say, that is their 4 protect one. These other 4 heroes just making space for OD to continue his farm here. There is an, uh, an ult from Sparkar with the blade. No, the battle is just going to melt. No luck for him there. And if you look, he's got the, uh, he's got the shell on as well, for the um, repel on from uh, Radiance Middle Omni Tower. Is so under no attack. chance to uh, do anything in regards to the 
ult from uh, Crackpot. He's just going to back it off. Although the Fisher block from the kid puts Morker in a very difficult situation. Another repel though. Uh, going to take the seeding chains off, and now I think they feel they're in a position that they can push this mid tower. The keep's in a good situation for it. Radiance and, uh, middle tower. I think is they're going to rotate round. Uh, the, oh, look, as, as predicted, um, the rod of Atos picked up on OD. Um, like I said, with the repel, he doesn't have to go to the early BKB, and uh, he's able to pick up that uh, Atos, which is just devastating. The slow plus the right click. Radiance is middle really tower scary is under attack. The OD Radiance structures are fortified. Plus the the slow this team already has, it just adds to an already fairly fairly lethal lineup. Oh, and there's a blink in from Sparkar and it's on Night but will they find him with the jewel and that is gonna be him going down. He can't run out of that, but the kid is here and so is Wow with a triple kill response to that. And they're gonna find Beacon the knowledge as well. He does manage to deny himself, but still four heroes down for Natty Bobo. Once again, not a bad trade. The kid looking for more here. He's gonna find him with a fisher on a Pray for too good, just having to use everything to get out of here. Uh, why is going to try at him, but he's going to get caught with the uh, the astral imprisonment. The kid in trouble now. The owl's going to finish him off. Wow, in serious danger here. Pray for too good, showing what that farm can do. Crackpot trying to find out the kill desperately here. Silencer chasing. Ah, oh, no, he's going to take Crackpot as well. One more right click and he's down. Crackpot will try to take out. And there we go. Four kills in response to the. Uh, in response to that there, uh, just shows what happens when you let the OG get space and let him get farm. Um, <laughs> a little bit of That's what happens from... against uh... That's what happens when you try again, uh, try to go against an OD without a BKB. Almost suicide at this level. Well, did we see the uh, global alt from Silencer there? I think we did earlier on in the fight. And uh, I think they really need to save that for going in on OD. OD, in fact, now going to pick up the BKB. Feels like he Radiance has more middle than enough tower is under attack. Um, to deal with the situation. Going to make sure he's not going to get caught out by that silence on the silencer there. Um, yeah, I mean, this is this is why we've seen OD banned pretty much first in every single draft of the tournament. He only Radiance got three once before, I think, or twice before. Um, it wasn't too successful when he was, but this shows, as you said before, hey, don't put him in mid, put him in the safe lane, and Radiance you will see top the results under uh, pay off. Zap! Just on a side note, OD currently leading uh, Shanghai Major with the uh, most kills uh, for the most kills uh, in the most kills bracket um, per game. I think. I don't know. How do you feel about current OD? I think I think the five Let's intelligence is too strong. And fresh mate. It really does just make him unkillable. Oh, trouble here. He's just going to go down to the poison touch out of the dark. Kid tried to help him out with the block there, but it just wasn't. It just wasn't a position. Once Kid starts to, uh, once he, once he masters the hero, um, so more, he is going to be. A Radiance top player. tower is under attack. My that's going to get caught by the Ember Spirit. Here comes the kid on Beacon of Knowledge. He's going to get a... Uh, he's going to expect to try coming to finish off. But the BKB on the OD. Now we've got some troubles here. We've lost three heroes for two. And then we've got a duel happening on Wyro as well. He's not quite high enough level to uh, to deal with that uh, blade mail uh, duel with the repel. What do you do, man? What do you do Radiance in that situation? Middle tower uh, is under attack. I think it's the answer. Can do there with the farm that, 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 that those heroes have on them, both over 10, well, 10k and 14k re respectively on both the Legion and the OD, compared to the like, 6k on the two cores of first dogs, it's just such double, a big difference. Double the, uh, double the farm there. But I mean, looking at the rest of the team, uh, it does go to show you that it has been uh, these two heroes that have uh, that have controlled the games, and uh, these are the two heroes that you need to look about banning out. No uh, sorceries These are the two players whose heroes you need to look about banning out, and uh, you need to shut them down. These are the guys you need to shut down. Radiance to have your middle tower is under effective. attack. Another duel though on the kid. Dyer's He's not going to be able to help anyone out for a little while. Um, chains back on the scorecard, but. Uh, Natty Bobo is going to have ammunition. to back it off. Why are we going to have a little go on the Omni Knight here though? Um, he doesn't have the Fusal Blade up yet, and OD just picks up the Silencer on the back side of that. 
Um, also the Spectre. He's coming in here strong. We're going to see the drops go down for sure. Heat. Any buy box available for our first uh, dogs? As well. You can see we don't have any. We've got buy back. No buy box. Ready to go. Buy back. On silencer. No buy back. On crack box. No buy back. On ember. That's unfortunate. And we're going to see the radiant middle tower has fallen. Probably going to see a, a GG called fairly soon, I think. They're going to give it one more go uh, with their uh, lineup coming back up now. Ah, uh, Crackpot comes in. There's the $6 million slash. It's too low level for it to be really that effective. Nani Bogo going to go down to the OD. OD going to destroy Crackpot with the Weaky B up now. It's all over for First Dogs. I can't see him coming in. There's the Alp as well. Just adds in some in the uh, injury. It looks like Spectre picked up the kill on the Dazzle there simply from the damage he was reflecting from uh, Legion Commander. Um, but I, yeah, I mean, um, I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't change things as far as buyback status is concerned. Will break. Um, and even if the you know, Spectre Radiance does have buyback, but he's holding it. Um, I don't know whether or not he wants to save it for if they go in here. Divine Rapier picked up on the Legion Commander. Possibly a bit of a mistake, but I mean these guys are not going to get to the late game that this team so needs uh, in order to uh, in order to win. GG Boots now also picked up on the Omni Knight, and uh, I mean absolutely nowhere for first dogs to go, nowhere for them to run in this match anymore. I don't think they're going to go back up and get. Yeah, I'd be surprised. If, yeah, I'd be surprised if Legion's uh this Legion isn't banned out against for against Atari. Next, next team to play them anyway. They've been such a such a strong hero for for, for Atari. Yeah, Atari were going to be playing against um, Team Binbag next, but I they they dodged it. They had uh, they had scheduling issues, so uh, I think they will certainly be studying uh, these lineups and the playstyle of uh, of Atari before their matchup. Crackpot gonna get caught out once again. Three hits from uh, Brave to at this point. He is level 20. I mean, if we look at the levels uh, from the teams here, he is five levels ahead of the next best, of this Legion Commander that we speak about so much. The Legion Commander with the Divine Rapier. The OD is five levels ahead of him. And uh, wow, it's being a little bit unfair. Um, uh, we'll maybe see how they do in the lower bracket though. And uh, I don't think they're going to be able to make much of their next match, of their next match up. Um, uh, we'll see them, like I say. No more from me. Another attempt by the six. What happens when they're paired up again? Yeah, that's that's a fairly that's a GG. What can happen this? I'll be interested to see. See the uh, the Atari versus the Binbag game, and I'll be interested to see how First Dog pair up against uh, a team more their level, less less of a stomp possibly. Then I think as well, though it does show the inexperience of First Dogs uh, playing with themselves there. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see once those guys start to get a bit more experience. Maybe we'll see them in uh, next year's Murray Cup or in some of the tournaments later on in the year, and uh, we'll see how things goes. Um, the uh, <laughs> that's uh, the team Atari though take that uh, take that set three uh, two and zero oh, picking up three points and putting them even with Team Binbag uh, in uh, in the blue group there.